Today we're going to share some more of our favorite useful knots. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're going to start with some of the knots that we really like. I'm going to start by teaching you the fisherman's knot. I use this a lot, not only on fishing line, but just on ropes that I want to connect together. So we're going to just lay the two ropes parallel to each other, come to one end, and we're basically tying an overhand knot, the traveling end through the loop, and continues in the same direction of travel. Come to the other end, overhand knot, traveling end, continues in the same direction of travel, pull them together. And that's a great knot to hold two lines of the same diameter together. Here's a fun way to teach your youth the bowline knot using competition. Pretend that you're in an action movie, you're stuck on a cliff, someone throws you a rescue line, and you've got to get that line around you and tie it so it doesn't squeeze you together, so you've got to have a knot that's not going to slip. So you take the rescue line, put it around your waist. This is how you do the bowline with one hand. Two fingers and across your palm. You're going to go to the rescue line. Twist it towards your belly. Now you've got a loop. Lay that rescue line across it. Fold the traveling end into the loop that you've created. Hold tight. Put that down around your bottom. Success! So sometimes you might have a rope that is just too long and you don't want to cut the rope. And so there's a knot made specifically for that. It's called the sheep shank. This is how you do it. Take your rope. We're going to bend it so now it's in thirds. Okay, so let's say we're going to shorten our rope by that amount. We'll now go to one end and we're just going to do an overhand knot. Make a loop, pass it over, tighten it up. Follow the rope to the other end. Pull that through. That's a good knot right there. The final knot that we want to teach you today is the Prusik knot. It's designed so that if you have a tarp line that's set up and you want to attach a tarp or some object to it and you need to move the object one direction or the other and have it hold tight, this is the knot for you. So just put a loop bring the other ends through the loop. We're going to do that two more times. One, two, and then we'll tighten it up so it's pretty, which is the most important thing for knots, right? And then you can see that it will move. It won't move going one way or the other, but you take off a little pressure we can slide it and it'll hold. That's the Prusik knot. And it's a great knot. I love to use this, especially when I'm out camping. I know we're teaching from my man cave, but I want to teach you one of my favorite hacks that I use when I'm camping using the Prusik knot. So we've got a small one made. I'll just bring it over on the line. And then let's say I've got a tarp that's got a grommet on it. I'm just gonna feed the Prusik knot through the grommet. Then I'll just grab a stick, a twig, put it through there, and I'm set. I hope that this has been helpful to you. Join us again at OSME TV.